Welcome back Etsy sellers. Are you ready to increase your average customer order value with every order purchased? If so, you've landed on the right video. In this video, I'm going to teach you step-by-step -step exactly how to create both a group and a bundle listing on Etsy. This is a highly requested and highly anticipated video, so I am super glad that you have landed on this video to be able to consume this training. I do recommend watching the totality of the video. Please do not try to skip any steps because that step could be the reason that your group or bundle listing does not make any sales, but I will go ahead and put timestamps of the individual sections of the video in the description. If you're new here, I would highly recommend that you first like this video as well as subscribe to the channel because we go live for you guys every single Thursday and post a new training video just like this every Tuesday for our Etsy and e-commerce sellers. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. <laughs> Alright guys, so the first thing I wanted to do was actually kind of go over exactly what a group, a set, or a bundle listing actually is and why someone would actually want to purchase more than one item at one time, okay? So the first thing I'm looking at is the group shirts. So this is actually showing that let's say someone is having a 50th birthday, for example, and they are, let's say they're going on a cruise or they're going to Nashville or they're even just having a party and they want to purchase shirts that kind of match the theme for multiple people. So we have the 50 year old that's having their birthday. And then we have all of the really funny sayings about the people who are going to be attending whatever this event is. Okay. So that is an example of a group listing. All right. The next thing I want to show you is kind of like a set listing. All right. So this is an example of you can buy one of these dog bowls, or you could buy a dog water and a dog bowl as a set. So if you come over here, we break this down you'll see small set of two bowls, large set of two bowls, and then you'll see the individual ones only. So you can buy just the Margot, just the heart. You could also buy a small one versus a large one, or you could get a set as you can see here. All right. Number three is going to be a bulk bundle order. This is also a personalized bundle order, which I really, really love. But this basically is multiples of the exact same item that someone can purchase okay so you can see here when we break down the like the elections that they can choose from the different options there's an option of 50 100 150 and 200 so someone can actually personalize these and purchase these for their wedding and it could be anywhere from 50 of them at one time or they could go all the way up to 250 or 200 so you can see those right here and that is what it means to have a group a set or a bundle listing. Let's also take a look at their tags. So if we scroll down here, we're also seeing a couple of different things like dog food bowls, which by the way, is the exact search query that I personally put in to Etsy to find this listing. So they are showing up for something that I actively put in, which means this listing is going to get pushed out even further when people like me are typing stuff like that in. So we have dog food bowls, dog bowl set, cute pet bowls, set of pet bowls, and they even have cat dishes in here as well. So these are a really, really good combination of getting people who are already in the mindset and have the intention of purchasing more than one. Open up how to actually build this from scratch. You can come up here and click add a listing and it's going to ask you these few questions first. Is it a physical item or a digital item? Obviously it is physical. Um, and depending on how you are sourcing this, whether it is a print on demand item or it is something that you self curated is how you're going to fill these out. Let's say I was the one that did it and it is a finished product and I personally am making it to order. What's going to happen next is you can see these things start to auto populate for you. It is made from scratch. Let's just say I use handheld tools, whatever. Let's say I sew, I don't know. Um, so let's say this is for our handmade sellers, how I would personally fill this out for myself. However, let's say you're a print on demand seller. You need to select another company or person and then the made to order could be 
be whatever the year was. So in this case, 2020 to 2024, then you're going to absolutely have to make sure that you have your production partner information filled out. Okay. So I'm not going to go through all of this today, but you will need to fill all of that out in today's case. Let's go ahead and just call it handmade simply because I want to uh, get through this video as fast as possible. So you guys can make this happen. Let's go ahead and click continue. Then from there, we're going to put in our title, which like I mentioned a second ago, based on what you are selling, I highly recommend using works like group, set, bundle, party, multiple, like whatever you can find based on your research to fill that in. So let's just say group uh, shirts for family Christmas. Again, you have 140 characters, so I want you to do so, so much better than I did, but let's just say we have done our research, we put in that information. As it relates to the photos, obviously you can add up to 10 photos in one video. I would highly recommend at least first video, or the first photos, full blown, all of these are personally available. Even if it's just the dog bowl set, you need to be able to show that this is a set and you should go into this knowing that you want to buy more than one item. Them. So we're going to put that in the first. If you have additional variations, whether that be sizes, colors, types, quotes, whatever, that's what I want to fill out the remainder of our photos with. Okay. So let's just say number one is an exact example of what you should be getting ready to purchase multiple items at one time. Let's say photo number two is different variations of how you could purchase that. So if we're going back to the dog food bowl or bowl set, for example, you can see the different colors that he or she offers, right? You can also see that this person showed that you can also buy the individual dog bowls themselves. So they did a really great job. So let's say we fill up a couple spaces with that. Then based on the variations you do offer, whether it be sizes or different quotes, whatever you are going to offer in your listing, I want at least one photo to be dedicated to that as well. So you'll see this is bowl sizes and it makes complete sense to me. It is very easy as a searcher or a potential buyer to digest which one makes the most sense for my dog. I can also see the many different colors that she offers as well as the different or not the different fonts, but what font I should be expecting to receive on my item. Okay. So figuring out how you want to build all of that out. That's what your first seven to eight photos should be. If you have room after based on whatever you're going to be creating for these people, I highly recommend going ahead and building something that's like telling them how to order, especially if you are doing like a group listing, like we showed a second ago, or even if you're doing a bulk thing like this, that requires personalization and telling them what quantity I highly, highly recommend to go ahead and put in a photo as well well as in your description, what to do to order it. Like what should they do if they have questions? What should they do if they want five black and one white? If that's not construed appropriately in the early stages, you could miss out on sales. Okay. The next thing I would do is in the description, I want to fill out basically everything that we put in the photos. So how to take care of it, how to order it, what do I do if I want more than one quantity? What do I do if I only want one quantity? If you decide to offer that the variations that I can choose from, who is this for and which one should I buy? Okay. So just basically, however you want to fill that out. So we'll just put description here. The third thing I want to look at is personalization. This is completely contingent, obviously on exactly what you are going to be offering. But if you do offer a customization or a personalization or something of the sort, which usually group listings do in some way, shape or form, whether it be you have to choose the quote that you want on the shirt, but you can't really personalize it. That is still considered a personalization. Okay. So we're going to click add personalization and we're going to tell them what exactly we need from them in order to make this happen. Okay. So let's say choose your quote design from picture four, whatever you want. And then you can say if ordering multiple, please input like this. And then you can tell them exactly how you want that to be. And then I would highly recommend not toggling this on unless personalization is optional. But from the three things that we looked at today as examples, personalization was not something that's optional because you need that information in order to create this. Okay. Also, this is interesting here. 
if you need more space than the original 256 so like you saw a second ago i was filling out the information and the 256 really wasn't probably enough because i was ordering 10 shirts and i needed to tell them exactly what design to go on which shirt you can actually increase this to something else so let's say we increase that to 1000 character limit for the person to actually put into the personalization section next up is pricing and inventory Let's just say, I don't know if Pet Bowl is going to come up. Let's see. It does. Fantastic. All right. So let's go ahead and click Pet Bowl. Now we can come over here and do add variations. You can see primary color and secondary color are already there, but we want to create our own because we are creating a bunch of different variations here. You can see you can add up to two variations. So let's go ahead and click create your own and let's call it um, my mom color. Okay, so like let's color of design, white, blue. Okay, so now we have all of the colors that someone can choose from in order to have their design imprinted on their bowl. All right, another variation that is the type of bowl or quantity. Okay, so with that, now we're going to say small dog bowl set, large dog bowl set, small dog bowl bowl one let's just call it that for now because i don't really want to call anything else <laughs> and then let's go ahead and do large dog bowl one there we go all right so now we can see if we get out of here there we go now we can see color of design and type of bowl the third thing we're going to want to do in here is the prices will need to vary between these because this is obviously more expensive than this is so let's go ahead and click prices vary and you can say type of bowl quantity click apply so when you scroll down now you're going to see price comes up not for color because we didn't choose that but it does come up for the type of bowl quantity okay you're also going to see are these visible or not visible so let's say for whatever reason you decide the small bowls aren't working for you you can always toggle those off and just have large bowls as options so let's say the small dog bowl set let's just call it 40 large dog bowl set let's call it 60 but let's say one small dog bowl is actually $25 because they are now getting a $5 off actually almost $10 $10 off coupon if you will by purchasing in bulk or a bunch or a set okay from there um, you don't really if you want to fill out these attributes by all means you can let's just say black let's say white however you want to fill these out we're gonna put the tags and the materials in and then shipping options obviously you build this out for yourself however you want um, and then last but not least is where you want it to go so for the shop section I would highly recommend depending on what you decide to sell to actually have sets group listings bundles whatever as a a section dedicated to itself or let's say you're offering multiple different dog bowls that could be a dog bowls section whatever you want to do there but I highly recommend you go ahead and attribute that there and let's just say personalized gifts in this option now of course I don't have any other photos but if I did this is what it's gonna look like so you're gonna see the title here 25 plus depending on what you decide to do you'll see the personalization and you'll also see that i put zero out of 1000 characters for them to fill out for the color they can select let's say they choose blue as their color and they decide to go ahead and do the set as you can see that price adjusts to 60. so i hope all of that made sense guys that is exactly step by step how to curate a bundle a group or a set listing Obviously, if you decide to do a group listing that has multiple different variations, so a bunch of different quotes, it's going to be a little bit different than this, but it's the exact same step-by-step -step concept. So I hope you guys enjoyed this training. If you have any questions further about how to build this out from scratch, do not hesitate to let me know. You know where to find me. I'll see you in the comments. Well, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for joining me for this video today. If you did, in fact, enjoy this video and you are about to launch your first or maybe even 10th group or bundle listing type group in the comments for me so we can know that we are creating content that is beneficial to your business that's all the time we have for today until next time we'll see you in the next video